editor's note this video unlike all the others my voice actually sounds rough as f i have a cold but i really wanted to post something and uh yeah i hope you'll enjoy this and sorry for the voice enjoy this video is made for those of you who are just starting a neuro truck and want to buy the best tool for the job but also for those experienced players who want to learn more about how different configurations affect the behavior of the truck on the road and what chassis type is recommended for what load. So, without stringing you along for that sweet watch time, let me fill you in on what exactly we will talk about today. The holy trinity of truck performance, chassis, engine and transmissions. Every one of these components plays a crucial part in the way your truck behaves and, therefore, the joy you get whilst driving it. Moving on to the first component of the triangle of performance and the component we will focus on today, the chassis. This is the skeleton of your truck. Everything else bolts to it and, apart from that, gives your truck a particular set of skills. The skills in question are, unlike Liam Neeson's, who were acquired over a very long career, are acquired over a long and arduous design process. The most important of these are stability, grip, traction, weight distribution, fuel capacity, and now let's talk about the most common configurations found in the game. 4x2 basically means that the chassis has 4 wheels, the rear double ones count as 1, and 2 of which are powered. In this configuration the front axle does the steering and the rear axle does the driving. The pros, has good fuel economy, lightweight, great fuel capacity, great maneuverability in smaller spaces. The cons is less stable when turning at high speeds and on wet tarmac. This configuration lends itself well for the players who pull medium sized loads over a maximum of 18 tons over long distances of 1000 km and more pulling a standard or isolated trailer. It is not recommended to pull heavy loads because the weight distribution on the single axle is poor and IRL would have you explain the transport authority in your country why are you overweight. That being said, this configuration offers superb maneuvering characteristics in more confined spaces that, together with the massive fuel capacity, lower weight and thus lower fuel consumption and tire wear, is the place to be if you want to have minimal costs. I would recommend this configuration for players who like to do long haul with standard trailers and don't want to bother themselves with longer length ensemble of truck and trailer. This type is more often seen IRL on the continent due to the need for mobility and endurance of truckers. Some deliveries IRL are made in spaces that make the tramery yard look like a hypermarket parking lot. Moving on to the 6x2. 6x2 means that the truck has 6 wheels and only 2 of them are powering the truck. This configuration offers the most variety because you can have a simple axle that helps with weight transfer. The maximum load on all axles is lower because it is divided between more axles. And it can be fixed in place, liftable, could be raised when traveling empty or when bobcatting, or it can be a steering axle as well. Now, this configuration of chassis has three main subtypes. The 6x2-4, which indicates that the extra axle is a steer axle, usually called the twin steer. The 6x2-2 indicates that the third axle is the last one, also called a boogie, and the 6x2-2, it's basically a fixed second axle, it does not steer and usually can be liftable or not. The pros has great spreading capability, good stability at higher speeds, the cons has a lower fuel capacity, lower fuel economy, less maneuverable in tighter spaces. As an aside, in this configuration you can transport as much as 60 ton IRL if the authority is allowed due to the better weight distribution of the cargo over the axle. Speaking of the 6x4, now we're getting into the heavy side of the equipment. In this configuration, your truck has basically one steering axle and two drive axles. This configuration is also known as a tandem. This configuration offers great traction in all weather conditions and is most common IRL in the USA because it allows for 34,000 pounds or 15.4 tons on the tandem axle where the maximum for a single axle is about 20,000 pounds or 10 tons. The pros? 
Great traction, great stability, great heavy low pulling capability. The cons, bad fuel economy, lower fuel capacity, higher overall weight, higher tire wear. Now let's talk about the big daddy, the 8x4. This truck has 4 axles, usually 2 steer and 2 drive, with a mid lift usually. This configuration should theoretically be used only when transporting oversized load due to its good mix of maneuverability and traction. IRL is most common truck used in oversized transports. The pros, good traction, the very best ability, good handling, great low spreading capability. The cons, has bad fuel efficiency, bad handling in small spaces, high tire wear and low fuel storage. That being said, this is the kind of uh, configuration I would like to be seen used only when pulling the heaviest loads in the game. That means 20 plus constantly. Uh, personally, I use this when pulling tankers, again, over 19 tons. And my fair and honest opinion is if you have an 8x4 with a standard trailer, you should sell that truck immediately because it's overkill for what you're doing no matter what engine you use no matter what transmission you use if you use this and this chassis pulling standard loads then you are using it wrong but that aside each to its own and i'm not judging that being said i'm gonna see you in the next episode when we will talk about the engines in the game and basically how to pick the best engines for your need goodbye